Hello, Tracy here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have decided to do some tags. Desperately need them. I don't, I make all this other ephemera, but tags is one thing that I do enjoy making, but it's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just don't struggle with it. I just can't be bothered with it. But I want to make some for my stash. Um, I've got some bits and pieces here um, there's flowers there's birds there's mushrooms there's a couple Christmas images for each size so the idea let's get one of these so I've got three different sizes anyway how are you all I hope you're all doing fantastic I should have um, started with that but I didn't um, we're doing well here another another day closer to our holiday so yeah right the idea so I've got some strips here and they're just leftover strips but they're like fall type colors I've separated my strips into Christmas fall and then random this is almost like a scrap buster type thing um, so what I'm going to do is just glue these on and use them as a background. So it's a twofold type thing. It will help me reduce my scraps. Um, and I'm just going to carry on doing that. Reduce my scraps and give me some tags at the same time. So we'll start off with these full ones. And then whatever's left over, well, I can easily use them as um, clusters, can't I? And we all know how I like my clusters, so. So I'm using um, just some, my hands are all gluey already, some cream tags. I'll have something a bit brighter than that, please. What about this? Yeah. Actually, no, I will do it separately. I'm going to have to do that. 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 One could argue that I could have actually um, put these together and then cut them out. And I possibly should have done it that way, but... I'm just playing. I'm using up. Actually, I've done really well. I had an embarrassing amount of um, scrapbook paper in my basket. Like it was literally overflowing. And I've made it my mission this month. To actually use it and look this was like up to here and I don't have a lot left which is great um, what about some orange magazines Doesn't matter what it says, it will get covered up anyway. Scissors. Will that fit that one? Yep. It will. Just turn this over. Um, what else have we got? Here's a thick piece, quite like that. I think these strips were from one page actually that I cut up for another project and then decided not to do it. But yeah, it's good to get some full cards done. I'm not going to put that there because it's too big, although... The rest of them are 
roughly that size. So maybe I will. It's a bit of writing. Why not? Writing against writing, I do not want. So I haven't really got anything to um, to report. Everything's just ticking along. Having a lot of fun in here in my craft room. been happening not a lot my youngest has finished now finished her um, placement for her final year so she will be um, studying hard for her state exams for nursing She'll be doing that, she'll sit that, and then she's off to Australia for a holiday. Well-deserved break, I must say. She's worked hard. So, that will be good for her. Come on. Stay on there. I know my fingers are sticky. And one more. What about? a lock so there's three full ones um, I'm going to keep all of these scraps together because I'm going to repeat this process once this video is finished and I might even do it out in the lounge I've been neglecting my better half lately because I've been shutting myself away in here doing all these videos see what it turns out like when I turn it over so I know Gail um, Ascanelli she did something similar to this uh, but she did hers on a piece of paper and did it diagonally from corner to corner but if you've got heaps of um, scrapbooking strips or kits you know leftover scraps this is a great way to use them up I've done it once before but just not on camera so I thought I'd bring you along for the ride um, it's something satisfactory about using everything up in your stash. Um, so, you know, scraps are just the same. It's, although, you know, hey, you, you always make more, don't you? Right, so there we've got our three pieces for Halloween. Halloween fall, I should say. So what did I pick out here? Did I even pick? I don't think I picked anything out from there, but I've got this mushroom for there and I've got a mushroom on this pile. So I've got those, which, yeah, let's ink them up. Or if I can undo that.
and whether I use these this time around or if I decide to do another full journal or um, whether they'll just go in my stash for next year, who knows, but they will be there. I do have her, but she's not really fully, is she? Um, I wonder. What's something for? So this is from um, Clee, Clee Black Creations. I might just do something like that, although if there's a, actually I like that, not necessarily full, but it will do I think, because I don't want to, although there's something that's more full colours, actually I like that, cool, that's that. And we want a bit of lace. Let's just pull out my good old piece of lace that I like using, that one. And um, I think that could do it actually. Let's just use these, these ones. So I'll be quite happy just to uh, chop that. I'm going to have to get my scissors out. Handy dandy scissors. I like cutting. Don't even know if I like that under there after all of that. Do we want... Oops. I feel like I want something to break up. I know it seems silly, but to break up all the the lines. I'm going out for tea tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. Carefully, not Tracy. Something like that, and then we have. Don't like that. I actually wonder whether that um, picture is just a little bit too big for that because it's not really. See, that to me looks a lot better. So I think I might leave that piece there. This here, I'm not convinced on. So I'm going to put that aside. Um, do we want, considering it's supposed to be for full, I'm going to leave that one and come back to it later. This I like, so I just think it needs something else behind Another piece of paper, maybe. Yep, quite like that. And do we want to get... Oh, look. Well, if it's going to fall out, we're going to use it. 
wasn't quite what I was after but let's do that because I'm not making very good time here once I start thinking then I get um, I get stuck and then I try to make everything perfect when it's not really about being perfect And we'll go down a bit. Stick that on there. Maybe up there. And then stick the mushrooms down. Nice. And there's a full card. I'll put that underneath. This one here is definitely a bit larger. It's almost like it needs a doily or something. Let's have a look. Just to break that background. We have sort of like, do have these ones, which I'll leave that out in case I need them later. Um, or, I'm just sort of moving over to my witchcraft do you do, because I'm sure that I had... I had some doilies, but I'm not quite sure where they've gone. And another scrap. Might as well use these scraps up too. A scrap of um, writing paper. And then something for the uh, which one? Something like that. Yeah, I quite like that. So there. Come on. That. No, I don't know. Actually, I've got some doilies, um, some die cuts. One day when I've got time, I must sit there and do a whole lot with some scraps. So I've got them, and they're a little bit, they'll be a little bit thicker than these ones. Come on. 
excuse me. And then that. I'm almost thinking it needs something. Oh, yep, happy with that. I'll go along later and punch repunch that hole. Not too worried about it at the moment. So there's my other full one, which I'm happy about. Um, let's just give it a quick anchor around the edge. I didn't do that other one actually. So yeah, a quick easy way to use up. Strips. Get them out. Cover some tags and make something with them. So that's the four ones. I'm going to now do. I might do flower ones or Christmas ones. Maybe Christmas ones. Back to the side. So grab all my Christmas strips out. I'm going to do it a bit different this time. I'm going to see if I can go straight across. Move everything to the side. That there, that there. Get a new... Get glowing. Stick it down very carefully, leaving enough room um, so I can cut in between. There we go. Started. Oops. A little bit too. I want to have them kind of neutral. I know I shouldn't be fussy, but maybe not. No. See now I'm becoming really fussy, so I've got to stop and just glue. And put them down. It's a very, um, it's not a very green, red, and gold palette it's very sort of I don't know there we go here's something a bit more Christmassy oh the other side is too This colour, yeah, why not? Let's do that strip there. And then really need that bit there. Done. 
so how quick was that? Those I'm going to put over to the far corner. Let's flip these over, chop them out and see what they look like. That I will keep, that I will throw. This has come off the other one. Maybe it wasn't such a fantastic idea to do them together. What's missing? Actually, put that to the side and we want the glue. Let's re stick that down. It didn't have enough glue. Carry on cutting this one. pieces I'll keep here. Just these ones, good for clusters, put them to the side. Bit ambitious, I was hoping to get some flower ones done too, but or some bird ones at least. But I don't think I'm going to get that far. I think this is the part that's taking the longest, actually. Yep. Take that. Last bit. what I did there. Maybe it came like that. Let's just cut it to make it a bit more even. Right, Christmas. I won't start singing. You um, would probably not want to come back if I started singing. Right. Hello, lovely. We will put you on there. And we want something behind you. Let's have a look in here. That's pretty cool. Happy with that. Um, Have. It doesn't, it gets hidden actually, and I don't want, and it can maybe go on that one, but I do like that. And Christmas words, where are they? Here they are. That would be lovely just by itself. I was going to do this, but I don't, don't think I will. Let's put that to the side. And something like that, maybe. Forgot about these ones. Oh, 
you know, I was going to put her on there, but I think I'll put her to the side. So we need, oh, actually, that's a smaller one. Cool. Forgot I had these. Amazing when you actually have a look. So I think, what do we need? Hollows. No, I can't have up and down words, I don't think. Not with this. Not with this one. This is from Junk Journal Studio. Um, it's really cool because the words are up and down. But it's not what I'm looking for. They don't fit on with these. Um, actually, you know, to be fair, let's throw a bit of lace on there. It's that kind of look. Yeah, I think so. Let's not overthink it. Or you're all going to be sitting here for two hours instead of the half hour, 20 minutes that I like to keep you away from your busy lives. And then around here. And then I think that's all that it needs. Right, um, I'll do the whole, put a bit of ribbon in the top maybe. So let's put her underneath. That, I think, is just going to stay on there as it is. I'm not going to add anything to it. It's taking up a lot of retail space on there, so I don't feel like I have to add anything. And it's cute. Something like that. Pretty cool. Time I add a, a bit of um, something at the top. And then that one, I think I'll just add the doily. Probably didn't even have to add that, but the background makes an interesting, um, an interesting pattern all by itself. But you don't really need to add anything. We'll get this putty cat on. See how we're going for time. Um, if it's just about time, I will stop there, show you what we've done, and then I will carry on. Um, I will carry on and do the birds and flowers. Um, generally, when I do these videos I will take pictures of the end of the end project and share them on Facebook groups um, junk um, junk journal junkies uh, magical paper and what was the other one I can't remember off the top of my head but I do share them um, in three different areas, so I will take pictures of all of them. How are we going for time? Yeah, it's after half an hour, so let's get these out. So we've done five, which isn't too bad. So we've got two autumn ones and three Christmas ones. Quite like her. And these two little kitty catty ones. So different size ones. Um, using up your 
stash your scrapbooking strips. Good way to use them up. Um, write these tags, five tags in half an hour is pretty good. So yeah, give it a go. Use your stash up. Um, you're better off using it than hoarding it like I try not to. Um, so yeah, happy days. Until next time.